This is Sheila. Today, she decided to make a small change to her morning routine by adding the dairy-free goodness of silk almond to her breakfast smoothie. And she loved its silky smooth taste. Sheila made a small change. Now Sheila's husband, Brad, well, he made a big change. But with the delicious almond goodness of silk, you'll realize a little change is more than enough. There's a new dance competition show taking over the world, and two Canadians are hoping to make it all the way to the top. Luca and Jenna Lynn are cabaret ballroom dancers. You guys, they are the only Canadians competing on World of Dance, the new show produced by the one and only Jennifer Lopez. The show premieres tomorrow night, but first, Luca and Jenna Lynn are here with us in studio for more. You guys, congratulations. Thank you so Thank much, you. Thank you. You guys are way too young to be <laughs> as good as you are. I, 16 and 20? Yeah, yes. I just turned 20 yes. this weekend. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> happy belated birthday. Thank you. How long have you two been dancing together? Um, for about three and a half years. Yeah, give or take about three yeah. and a half years. That's unbelievable. And uh, am I right when I say you were the youngest pro finalist ever at the Blackpool Dance Festival, which is the most prestigious black or ballroom competition in the world? Y yeah, yes. actually, you're right. Yes. I mean, again, it's a 120-year-old competition. So the fact that we were, uh, that we have the honor of being the youngest ever to compete there is, and to make it as a finalist is, it was is pretty crazy. Humbling. It was a pretty humbling experience. Okay, then you go from there all the way to World of Dance and you're working yes. with uh, Jennifer Lopez, with Neil, with uh, Derek Huff, uh, unbelievable names, and you're competing with people all over the world. What has this been like for you? It's been actually like an amazing experience, honestly. Like just being in the presence of them is just, Oh, it's just, you just want to die a little it, inside. It was crazy, again. <laughs> just a little bit. The, the talent on the, on the show is unbelievable. Again, you have the best in the world doing what they do best to the best of their abilities. Again, so it, it was a crazy experience. Like, it, it was unlike anything we've ever experienced in our life. And, um, like, hopefully, you know, we, we will be able to make Canada proud. So this is different than other dance shows we've seen on TV before where you're taken out of your own style in those other dance shows and you're forced to do things that aren't something you've ever been trained in. This show, you compete in your style and you guys are cabaret ballroom. What, what does that mean? What is cabaret ballroom? Cabaret ballroom, again, is, is a division where um, there aren't any rules. So outside of a time limit, there, you can do whatever you want within that time, as many flips and tricks, whatever style, whatever genre you do. And then that kind of worked well with us, because again, we tied in all of our dance styles that we've had in the beginning. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could like, Yeah, because I had the background of like the salsa, and I had the jazz, and the tap, and the acro. The simple Look at you guys stuff. here. <laughs> this is oh incredible. God, so that was so long ago. Oh my really? god, Jenna was like, probably babies. like 14 here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, again, we have very, I come from a ballroom background. Jenilyn, again, has, has jazz, tap, acro ballet, hip hop. She has everything. So we were able to kind of combine all those and add some, some tricks that no one else yeah. does in the world to kind of make it our own style. Yeah, we put our own twist on it. Yeah, you guys have some good tricks. We were cruising across your Instagram account. Too. <laughs> <laughs> we show, I think we have a couple of the pictures where you're right up in the air, Jenilyn. Yeah, that's, oh, that's one our, of our yeah. signature ones. Yeah, we do that everywhere we go. We try to do that. That's yeah. our back angel. So, you know, when we're touring, touring the world, whatever, doing competitions and shows we try we try to um you know kind of have a cadence of that so yeah that's our that's one of our our signature moves wow, that's a lot of them yeah that's actually a lot i kind of didn't realize how many times we do it but yeah that's kind of our one of our like pose right moves. well yeah it's memorable it's our go -to. no kidding so you guys are competing you're a pair obviously and then you're competing against not only individual dancers uh young dancers older dancers but also whole groups of dancers yes. what has that been like uh competing say against a crew which would have a totally different style than you guys well, everybody has their different style, and they're all from everywhere. Like they're all from different parts of the world, which is pretty crazy. But um... I mean, again, every kind of thing has their own advantages. So a soloist has some things that are his strengths and weaknesses. You have big groups that have, you know, that have impact from various different angles. So it was really, really different. It was different for us because, again, you're not competing against someone who does exactly what you do. You're competing against the best in the world in something you've never done. You know what I mean? In, in, in a genre you've never even seen potentially, um, and they're doing at a level that makes your jaw drop. You know, even though you can't really, you know, compare technically. Yeah. So again, it was a crazy experience, and everyone was so amazing on that show. It, the level of talent there was just insane and unbelievable. So when you're competing against people who are that good and that different potentially than you, how do you stand out? Well, what? we definitely push ourselves to like do our best because like when you see their like another person or another group like on like doing their best and in their game. You just want to step up 
yourself just like another level. Again, yeah, we're prideful. Again, you know, I mean, the only Canadian couple there on the whole entire show. So we kind of felt like we had to bring a little bit extra again to like kind of support our nation. So we tried our best to to just, yeah, do some stuff that no one's ever done. Do some moves that no one has ever seen two people do some flips and tricks. Again, yeah, you see her. Yeah, she'll come up. That's one of our. And you guys uh, spin and spin and spin and spin. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Where, like, it goes from. Yeah, we have our. You know, we're trying to do just moves that no one has ever seen before. That kind of will, will take people by surprise and by shock. You know, um, that you wouldn't expect. You know, from a 16 and a 20 year old. <laughs> and from yeah. ballroom, you really don't expect that type of athleticism from yes. from ballroom and the, and the music you guys are picking. I mean, you're you're right with it. It's super yeah. trendy. We we kind of kind of keep the modern background of the of again. The yeah, yeah, we're 20 and 16, right? Like. So like we, we you know, and, and, and it's our kind of art form. It's our you know either choreography or whatever we're doing. It's kind of it's us. You know what I mean? And we put it together. So of course our influences with the modern music with stuff. That's what we listen to. Yeah. So and so when we're like okay, we want to make a piece. Makes well, sense to just. To make a piece of something that you're passionate yeah. about, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? When we come together and go to work, we we do what we like with the music we like, we dress mm -hmm. how we like, because it's it's us. What was it like walking in as the only Canadians? Were you nervous about being the underdog or or the reception from the other teams? What was it like? It was again, we we were underdogs. I mean, she's 16 years old, yeah. right? And we're the only <laughs> Canadians. So again, like everything was kind of like you know, it, it did have a bit of an underdog feeling, especially going with those icons that they have in, you know, the Jabberwockies, the twins. Those people yeah. are are cemented in dance forever. And they have, like, millions and millions of followers. And, like, when we started out, we only had, like, what? Like, 100 followers, not even? <laughs> take all family, that's, like, 12. If you take, yeah, exactly. <laughs> take, if you take away friends. a close family and friends, yeah. we have, like, five followers. Like, oh. was, so, again, it was, it, was, it was really, really special to just look and, like, be in the same breath as those people, but then kind of compete and go right at them to try to win. Jenna Lynn, Luca, your star is rising, so don't worry about where you came from. <laughs> you guys are well on your way. Thank you so much for being here Thank this you. Thank you so much for having us. us.